Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Colleen C. to Serendipity. Today is July 4th, 2022, and I'd like to bring you this day in history. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on July 4th, 1776, the Continental Congress adopts the Declaration of Independence, which proclaims the independence of the United States of America from Great Britain and its king. The Declaration came 442 days after the first volley of the American Revolution and were fired at Lexington and Concord in Massachusetts and marked an ide ideology expansion of the conflict that would eventually encourage France's intervention on behalf of the Patriots. The first major American opposition to the British policy came in 1765 after Parliament passed the Stamp Act, the taxation measures to raise revenues for standing British Army in America. Under the banner of no taxation without representation, the colonists convened the Stamp Act Congress in Colonists convened the Stamp Act Congress in October 1765 to vocalize their opposition to the tax. With its enactment in November, most of the colonists called for a boycott of British goods and some organized attacks on custom houses and homes of tax collectors. After months of protest in the colonies, Parliament voted to repel the Stamp Act in March 1766. Why did American colonists declare independence? Most colonists continued to quietly accept British rule until Parliament's enactment of the Tea Act in 1773, a bill designed to save the faltering East India Company by greatly lowering its tax, tea tax and granting it a monopoly on American tea trade. The low taxes allowed the East India Company to undercut even tax smuggled into America by British traders, and many colonists viewed the act as another example of taxation tyranny. In response, militant patriots in Massachusetts organized the Boston Tea Party, which saw British tea valued at some 18,000 pounds dumped into the British harbor. The British Parliament, outraged by the Boston Tea Party and other blatant acts of destruction of British property, enacted the Corsive, Corsive Acts, also known as the Intolerable Acts, in 1774. The Corsive Acts closed Boston to merchant shipping, established formal British military rule in Massachusetts made British officials immune to the criminal prosecution in America and required colonists to quarter British troops. The colonists, the colonists subsequently called the First Continental Cong Congress to consider a united America res resistant to the British. With the other colonies watching intently, Massachusetts led the resistance to the British, forming a shadow revolutionary government and establishing militants to resist the increasing British military presented across the colony. In June 1775, George, excuse me, Thomas Gage, the British government governor of Massachusetts ordered British troops to march to Concord, Massachusetts, where a Patriot arsenal was known to be located. On April 19, 1775, the British regulars encountered a group of American militant men at Lexington, 
Lex Lexington and the first short shots of the American Revolution were fired. Initially, both the Americans and British saw a conflict as the as a kind of civil war within the British Empire. To King George III, it was a colony colonial revolution, and to the Americans, it was a struggle for their rights as British citizens. However, Parliament rem However, Parliament remained unwilling to negotiate with American rebels and instead purchased German mercenaries to help the British army crush the rebel, crush the rebellion. In response to British, British's continued opposition to reform, the Continental Congress began to pass measures abolishing British authority in the colonies. How did the American colonies declare independence? In January 1776, Thomas Paine published The Common Sense, an influential political pamphlet that convincingly argued for American independence and sold more than 500,000 copies in a few months. In the spring of 1776, support of independence sweeped across the colonies and the Continental Congress called for states to reform to form their own governments and a five-man committee was assigned to draft a declaration. The Declaration of Independence was largely the work of Virginia's Thomas Jefferson. In justifying American independence, Jefferson drew gen generously from the political philosophy of John Locke, an advocate of natural rights, and, form, and from the work of other English theologists. The first section featured the famous lines, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equally, and that they are endowed by their Creator, with certain unalienable rights, and among these are life, liber liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The second part presented a long list of grievances that provided the rationale for the rebellion. On July 2, 1776, the Continental Congress voted to approve a Virginia's motion called for the separation calling for separation from Britain. The dramatic words on these revo resolutions were added to the closing of the Declaration of Independence. The two days later, on July 4th, the Declaration was formally adopted by 12 colonies after a minor revision. New York approved on July 19th. On August 2nd, the Declaration was signed. The Revolutionary War will last five more years, yet to yet to come were the Patriots' triumph at Saratoga, a bitter winter at Valley Forge, the intervention of, Fran of the French, and the final victory at Yorktown in 1781. In 1783, with the signing of the Treaty of Paris with Britain, the United States formally became a free and independent nation. I hope you enjoyed this day in history and would you please give it a and comment down below and think about subscribing if you haven't subscribed. I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July and spend time with your family and friends and see beautiful fireworks display and remember to smile because I love you but more importantly, God loves you. Bye. See you in my next video.